Praise the Lord. This is Dr. Zor here once more. I want to talk about the third test signs, the cardinal pointers you will see or observe or experience and know if you need deliverance. I call it how to know if you need deliverance. These are some of the things you witness in you, especially in your dream around you or things you experience or encounter to know that you need to pass through the fire of prophetic deliverance, not just deliverance prayer, not just deliverance ministration or any other kind of mass deliverance or even self-deliverance. This is what you see in your life, in your situation, in your circumstance and more especially in your dream to tell or point to the fact that you need deliverance or to pass through the fire of prophetic deliverance. I call it, are you embarrassed, harassed, disgraced, or tormented by some of these nemesis we experience in our life journey? First of all, dreams. Let's look at your dreams. If you have crisis, warfare, dreams, or dream pollution by marine authors or marine alliance, or ancestral spirit or contrast spirit, you need deliverance. Number one thing you need to see or to observe or to experience in your dream to know that you need prophetic deliverance is constant nightmares, night terrors, bad dreams, or cage of evil dream attacks. I want to explain a little bit about nightmares. The word nightmare means night demons or demons that visit at night. So nightmares does not mean a terrifying dream, actually. The dream you see are the symptoms or the signs or the things you experience. But the real demon programming the problem are called night demons. Night under cover of darkness and mares. Mares are old English word for demons. So nightmare means night demons. So when you experience any type of nightmare or night terrors or bad dream or cage of evil dream attacks or any of such dream manipulation by contrary spirits, you are experiencing signs that you need or may need to pass through the fire of prophetic deliverance. Now, constant eating, drinking, or injections in the dream. Another thing to see is any type of sex, kissing, carousing, or any love advances in the dream. The other reason is constant seeing anybody or water, swimming in water with creatures, with entities, or home underwater, or any dream involving any type of body or water. It doesn't matter whether it's lake, swimming pool, rivers, seas, or beaches. They are all the same and point to the same thing. Now, seeing or experience graves or symmetry, uh, funeral scenes, or, you know, any scene that has to do with coffins, skeletons then you are in the line for deliverance you need deliverance now constant scene of pythons snakes or reptilian creatures of any type you need deliverance and that thing is constant constantly in the dream if you are being attacked or being shot at tormented or pursued or chased around in the dream you need deliverance especially if you are beaten by a dog a cat or a snake, or a rat, or any creature that bites you in the dream, that's witchcraft manipulation, witchcraft attack, and it shows you that you may need deliverance. Now, constantly being attacked, tormented, or pursued, I've said that, or constant limitation, blocks, and stagnation in the dream. Anytime you experience roadblocks in the dream, or limitation, or barrier, or barricade, or doors being shot at you, or you are going to a place 
or a mall or to buy something and there's roadblocks or the road closes one way or the other with barbed wire or with chains or with any form of restraint or restriction or barrier or barricade or bar you from entering where you intended to go then you need deliverance and that thing you might ask me is that uh, if you have spiritual house arrest and you see yourself in jails or blindfolded in dream or in the dark or see yourself driving on their fog or driving blindfolded or being held in the hand you don't know where you're going then the enemy is messing with your spiritual monitor want to block your spiritual eyes you need deliverance another thing you see to know that you need deliverance are if you're experiencing difficulty in getting married or finding a spouse late marriage later marriage or no marriage at all in a ripe age and there are no suitors then you need deliverance if you cannot locate your mate your spouse or your soulmate or your life partner you need deliverance if you cannot find a job even when you are overqualified you need deliverance in chronic joblessness. Uh, also, another cardinal point is if you are not receiving promotion, if you are being bypassed for promotion, if there is no pay raise and you don't seem to experience any form of financial breakthrough or miracle of turnaround in your finances, then you need deliverance. Are you experiencing witchcraft torments, arrows or cage of evil dream attacks in the dream? You need deliverance. Now, any form of tangible progress of fruit in your life that you are not experiencing and you are not experiencing the blessing of Calvary, I'll give you an example. If you pray and fast for something people get ordinarily and easily, even if you're a minister, you pray and fast, pray for people, they are not getting healed, you are not getting blessed, they go somewhere and give their testimony and give their offering or bless another preacher after you've done all the heavy work and heavy lifting and praying and so on that is not right you need deliverance so if you are not experiencing blessings what i call blessings of Calvary, what jesus bled and died for in any way shape or form there's no fruit in your life despite all your good effort despite your good labor in the vineyard of the lord despite helping people when it comes to your turn they are nowhere to be found then you need deliverance especially if you're experiencing failure at the verge of breakthrough near success syndrome almost their syndrome revocation of blessing promise and fail things like downgrading then you need deliverance especially demotion destiny demoting dream or destiny demoting situation every time they bypass you or reject you or ignore neglect you or sideline you then you need deliverance. You are not experiencing any form of blessing of Calvary. And that thing is that if you have gynecological issues or problems, especially in women, and by that I mean things like fibroid, you know, or multiple fibroid tumors, cis menstruation, irregular menstruation, Powered by demonic hormonal imbalance, PMS, especially painful menstrual cycle or periods, irregular menses, cis menstruation, I can't say that enough, polycystic ovaries, multiple fibroids, endometriosis, endometrial tumors, cervical and breast cancers. These are things that people think they come in ordinarily, but most of these things are masterminded by demon that messes a or messes up the woman's physiology in terms of hormonal uh, balance. They cause hormonal imbalance, and from hormonal imbalance, they can switch any activity on and off in a woman's physiology, and they can create all kinds of issues with menstrual cycles, issues with birth, issues with tumors, issues with reproductive tract, issues with uh, menstrual cycles, issues with all kinds of women problems then the person need deliverance it's not a doctor thing most of these things are spiritual problem 
and you need to pass through the fire of prophetic deliverance. Another thing is gynecological issues. And I can't say this enough. And let me just sketch it out, sketch it out for us quickly and effortlessly. Let's look at it here. That um, uh, Let's see. Anytime you have gynecological issues like chronic barrenness, you know, the woman is unable to conceive. After two years of trying to achieve pregnancy, there is no child coming forth. It's a curse. I call it curse of barrenness. It could be ovary problem or an ovulation. The person is not ovulating. It could be polycystic ovary disease. It could be tuba or atopic pregnancy. It could be series of miscarriages. It could be stillbirth. It could be all kinds of problems with birth or getting pregnancy to term, then the person needs serial deliverance. And I can't say this enough. And of course, number three or three broad heading is if you can't break evil family parent trends, yokes, and repetitive cycles. Let me give you an example. One of the evil family parent is Let's say you come in in a family, everybody is not married, but they're having children outside wedlock. Or everybody in that family has only one child. Or nobody is getting married out of all the girls in the family. Or the same thing that happened to the grandma is happening to the mother, is happening to the girls. Like one Ghanaian girl, the grandmother gave birth to her, her mother at 17. The mother gave birth to her at 17. She had just gotten a baby at 17. They are separate here. When they are separate, yoke of limitation, trend, cycles, or you see this thing happen in yoke of limitation in a family, you know that you don't just need a personal deliverance, you need background of family deliverance as well. And that thing is that if you do not want to um, have a total deliverance from limiting background forces, um, you know, limiting background forces is part of what I call yoke of limitation. Background forces is actually things that hold people back and bound. Background forces make people, even if they are ministers, they will move forward, upward and Godward. These background forces cause retrogressive dreams. They make you see yourself back in your old school houses back in the day when you were a little growing up with your siblings or taking taking exams useless exam that you cannot pass or you know you've passed several years ago or seeing your old school colleagues or even seeing past generation that are dead and gone or past friends and seeing anything at your past is backward. The child of God is supposed to see forward progress, supposed to see blessings, supposed to see angels, supposed to see breakthrough, supposed to see him doing work for the kingdom, laying hands on people, healing people, evangelizing. Or even if you are not doing that, you are seeing your business or establishing something or working in the vineyard of the Lord or working in your career cash flow or being promoted. I mean something forward and progressive but anytime you start experiencing backward dream or yoke of background limitation yoke of family limitation then you need serious prophetic deliverance another question I'll ask is do you want a quick and immediate answer to your prayers without demonic delay or opposition I want to emphasize here uh, something here a little bit any child of God is supposed to get results from their prayers. When you pray, you're supposed to get results. It doesn't take God years to answer for the most part. God is the God of here and now. So if you are praying and fasting and you are not seeing breakthrough, you are not seeing results, you are not seeing your miracles, you are not seeing your breakthrough, there's no victory, there's no fruit, nothing is working. It's like you've been shut down and shut out 
and then blocked in any way, shape, or form, then you need prophetic deliverance. Don't be ashamed. Go for prophetic deliverance. One-on-one, -on -one, hands on prophetic deliverance. Not deliverance prayer, not mass deliverance, not um, internet deliverance. Go for one-on-one, -on -one, hands on deliverance ministration with revelation, with pinpoint accuracy. Now, do you want to learn how to pray to break through? That's another question. And will you want to realize the full potential and fulfill your destiny, both professional, financial, health-wise, and what God has called you to do in terms of fulfilling the plan and purpose for your life? Do you want to discover the root of your problem or your misery in life or ministry? Yes. And that's why I'm here for. So I want you to take action, actually. Don't die in silence or spiritual pride. Stop for your deliverance. And that's why we are here. So these are some few factors and few things you see or you know or pointers that you need prophetic deliverance. Dr. Zo, bye-bye. Talk to you later.